All right, so um, part of the point for you to customize your profile a little bit again is to do a little window dressing. You do judge a book by its cover, so what you want is you don't want people to pass you up because you don't look like a good account to follow. So you are going to get a blog judged by its cover. Uh, you want to put in your icon and your graphic and that sort of thing and uh, once you've got that then we go about actually creating content because Tumblr is very much like a social network we will follow some of the tactics of a social network which is uh, we want to get followers to our blog so um, if I want to get followers it doesn't behoove us at the moment to try to get followers yet because we don't have any content to entice people to follow us Maybe we've got a nice graphic and so forth, but that's not enough to really entice people to follow us. So what we're going to do is work on getting a few followers, but first by adding content. So ladies, if you have a question there, you're a little distracting. Any questions there? No? Okay. So let's go back to the dashboard. Click on dashboard right there. And let's publish some stuff, some content. I would recommend three to five posts before you start to try to get followers. And again, we are going to manage this halfway between a blog and a social network. So, for example, I've got text and photos and so forth. Let's say we'll click on text. I'm sorry, I don't have that. Did you click on the little house up there on the top right? I clicked on the dashboard, so click on the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So then on, on that text box, um, what this is saying is I can write some text, and I've got title and then the actual text. So um, I can write something on title like um, open for business on Tumblr open for business on Tumblr. So then we have some space there to write some content, some text, we have the ability to bold and such, and also add pictures. So we have um, a title for this post, and some text. So um, I'm going to write something. Victor's Bakery is excited to join Tumblr. Okay, why? Why would people care? Why would people follow? You have to think about in terms again, is this just going to be for yourself or is it going to be for people to look at, to read, to reply to, to follow you, to care about you? So you should be thinking in terms of what's in it for people. Why would people follow me? Uh, people follow an account uh, like McDonald's or Rolling Stone or this college because there's content that people care to read. It's not just an exercise in blogging for blogging's sake. Most likely you want people to, to read your stuff. So I'm going to go on here and say, follow us for exclusive content not found anywhere else. This is uh, venturing into the concepts of a call to action, a CTA, call to action, which means something that causes someone to spring to action to do something. I want people to follow me. So I'm telling them you're going to get exclusive content here that you're not going to see on Twitter, you're not going to see on Facebook, etc. So follow us for exclusive content, not, not found anywhere else. To emphasize that, I can select, for example, the word, I can, I can select the, the phrasing, not anywhere else. Once you select something, you get the pop-up, bold, italics, H. What's H? Oh, heading. 
Okay, uh, that's to be to divide up your headings like on WordPress where you've got a, a section, let's say my recipe, ingredients, preparation inst instructions, those are headings that divide my content, so you can put headings. You can put links, you can do strike through, bullet and numbered points, bullet points and numbered list, and also indenting. So you have some basic editing features, so I can select italics right here. Yes? Are you, are you um, using that text um, strictly for an example? Because if you're saying that it's not found anywhere else, what if it was like you share? Like if it's somebody else that has something that um, you do have on there. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I quite get the question. Like, are, are you saying like why would we post text or why would we no, post why, this particular I mean, one? Like for that example uh -huh. that you're using, when you said follow us, follow us for exclusive content, mm -hmm. and then you say not found anywhere else. Is mm -hmm. it safe to say not found anywhere else, or are you just using that as an example? Because what if you're sharing or you're grabbing like blogs from other people. It's safe because that that's the point. If people share this to their Tumblr blogs throughout Tumblr, then that still applies. Okay. This is exclusive content not found anywhere else, only on Tumblr. If this gets okay. shared over to Pinterest or to YouTube or whatever, it's still most likely going to have a link back to the original Tumblr. Mm -hmm. So it's still going to apply that the exclusive content is at Tumblr. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you know, I can go in here and bold my name. I can write like what? And then bullet points. Coupons. What else? Um, how to video for example. I'm just showing this because I can select those and then put bullet points. If you if you notice sometimes there's a little plus symbol on the left side and sometimes it goes away. Well if you've got a brand new empty line of, uh, for you to write the plus symbol appears, and what the plus symbol is, is to add some media, such as a picture, a video, an animated GIF, a line, or a keep reading, or a read more, similar to WordPress, where I can have a snippet of my 100 words, I could have, you know, 10 words here, and then read more, and then the rest appears below that. So that was found under here, under this extra content, and then here, read more. But I wouldn't really use that in Tumblr. Again, the big purpose of Tumblr, or the style, the demographics of Tumblr, are not really for a lot of words. It's about a picture or two, maybe. Definitely a picture. Maybe it's a little video. Maybe it's a little animation. Maybe it's a picture plus one sentence from the examples that I've given of the um, on the first day that are also in, on that handout you'll see most of the time there's just a little text, a little picture, and then maybe a link elsewhere. So I can add here don't forget to check our site. And that I can make a link. So now that's a link. People might spend most of their time following us on Tumblr, but once in a while we want to entice them to go over to our website because that's where I'm actually selling the cupcake. I just have pictures and content about it on Tumblr, but to actually sell that, they have to come back to my website where the shopping cart is at. So is there an optimal amount of... Um words if you're doing text? Because it looks like this is a more visually oriented site. Yeah, so do focus on that a bit more visually oriented 
um, you can mix the two. Remember, like right here, I can then add a picture to that. As for how much text and so forth to combine it with, well, I can't exactly tell you that because that depends on your demographics. You might have followers on Tumblr that are a little bit more of the long-form variety, so that'd be it'd be fine for them to see a longer amount of text. But what I'm what I'm saying that from what I've how I've used it and as I keep up with it and read the read the you know commentary and such about Tumblr, it really is much more visual, short attention span. So I would not really write the long stuff here. I could write a snippet of it here and then direct them back to my WordPress blog where there I've got the 500 words. But maybe catch people's attention here with an animated graphic and then a, a link that says read more and then that link goes back to WordPress. And then we've got tags. So these are the keywords that will help you get found. Um, similar to to WordPress, three to five. Remember, we said there. So if I write, if I start writing a tag, like let's say uh, "welcome," it says "welcome," po popular "welcome," "welcome to Night Vale," "you're welcome," "welcome to Paradise," "welcome to my life." So you can you can put whatever tags you want. You can take suggestions. If they're getting suggested, it might be useful for you to use because that'll tap you into more people. Again, you have to decide what sort of voice you have for your blog so choosing welcome to my life might make sense on on mine here in tumblr because again tumblr is short attention spans it's it's very much about sharing finding fun stuff cool stuff so um, that one seems to be popular also notice this is just the only I've re I think I've only seen it in in tumblr in tumblr you can have hashtags with spaces you can't have them anywhere else. If you try to put a space and a hashtag on Twitter, it breaks. It's just the it's just going to be the word "welcome" instead of "welcome to my life." Um, so they there seems to be special. So you can write hashtags with spaces. Uh, I'm write here also. Let's see, bake baking. It's re recommending baking. Ted Baker Bakery Baku. So I'm going to select uh, baking. Cookies. So I'm putting in keywords, and the point of this is everyone at the very top on Tumblr has a search box. These are the ways that I'm going to get found. If I'm tagging my content and when people search for something new about cookies, my post could appear. So right now I'm focusing just on a text post. I can mix and match, however. Any questions so far? How many hashtags should we put? I would say about three to five. Let's click post. And then so now that went over to um I got published. It went into the whole Tumblr ecosystem of hundreds of millions of users. Um, I don't have any followers at the moment, so none of my followers saw it. How many followers do I have? Well, it's going to be listed um, up on the notifications and then also in the account icon there. You'll have a new item that says followers. Or down here, actually. Followers. I have one post, one f zero followers. So the point is, again, uh, I'm going to publish uh, maybe up to five posts to no one at the beginning, yes. I'm going to publish content because I want to have content when then I start to try to get followers. I might not get followers if I, there's an empty account. Why would they follow me? Maybe they see my name, Victor's Bakery, and a, and a nicely written biography, but they don't see content. And it's all about content. So if they don't see content, there's less of an incentive for people to follow my blog. So I usually recommend, we'll blog, add a few posts here, five, up to five is good, and then start to talk about getting followers. So let's do another one. If I select photo, I want to blog some photo. So click at the top of their photo.
upload photos, add from the web. So if you take a photo from your website, uh, that could have a link back to your website. That's a way to, to get people uh, traffic from your Tumblr back to your website. If you share a picture from your website into Tumblr, the link automatically takes people back to your website. How did you get into photos? You click that photo button. Looks like, looks like a photo camera. You want to keep going back to home. So let's say I'm going to upload a photo. What's cool is you can upload more than one, so it'll create a little gallery for you. I'm going to choose Upload Photo. There's a few photos that you might want to play with here if you'd like in the computer. Uh, if you select to upload a photo, on the left side you want to look under Pictures. Under Libraries you'll see Pictures. And then inside of Pictures you'll see Sample Pictures. So let's say I want to upload three pictures. You can select that one, control click that one, control click that one. I'm going to select three pictures. And so it's going to create a little basic gallery like this. Yes? Um, so if I post original artwork on there, is Tumblr a place where you can go and use it? And then a yeah, so you want to upload versions of pictures that you're, that you're comfortable getting shared. If you upload a very high quality version of the picture, you're giving away your high quality version. You want to upload web optimized versions, so not too big, not too much high quality, so that people can't blow it up and print it and do stuff with it. I've got three photos that I'm attaching here. Uh, on each of them I could add a little caption. So if I hover over a picture I get those dots. So if I click, I can caption this photo, Pictures Bakery. Um, obviously these pictures don't, don't make sense for this particular client, but I'll just write um, jellyfish birthday cake. Here, I'll write this is Carry the Koala, our mascot. And I'll write over here Cater your Penguin Party. So I'm adding pictures, I'm adding captions. This is another thing you can share on, on Tumblr. Um, we have those different media types. I can also then add a general caption to the whole post, uh, which is, uh, which is op optional. And then I've got tags here, so I might also add tags. Animals, mascot, whatever you believe best defines the keywords of your post. If you no longer want to hashtag, you can hover over the hashtag. Notice it gets a cross out, and then you can click it to remove it. So I've got some pictures um, ready to share, but before you post, did you notice that there's a little triangle there? If you click the triangle, you have options. Post now would go right now. Add to queue. If I select that, it'll get added to my queue. So I can right here post a, 10 things, actually add 10 things to my queue, then I'll walk away and I'll be safe knowing 10 things are going to be posted for me automatically once a day for 10 days in a row when we set the when we set that queue setting remember so if if I were to add this to the queue it would get added to it and then it would get posted tomorrow between 1 and 2 
save it as draft. That should make sense. I can post that, and then when I uh, when I when I want to continue to work on it, I'll have an option on my right here somewhere that'll say I've got two drafts. I can go back to it and continue editing it, and then either post it or queue it. I can select post privately. That's not very useful most of the time, I would say, because you want people to see your stuff. If you lock it down privately, that's more like if you are a if you are a, a person, if you if, if you're a person and you're trying to connect with your friends on Tumblr, maybe keep things private between each other. But if you're going to be blogging or you're going to be using Tumblr for a business, it doesn't quite make too much sense to put this stuff privately. Maybe you can do it for to sell your posts. But that's a different question. Post privately as I have to double check on that. Honestly, we don't do it in our company that much because we're usually posting it all publicly for a public company. And then we've got schedule. If the queue is too um, inelegant or unpre imprecise, imprecise, you can set the schedule and say when it's going to be posted exactly. So I can write here. Um, or in July, I can say the 4th. I, I kind of don't like their scheduling system because it's, it, in a way, they're trying to make it fun, but notice the example, you can write, next Tuesday, 10 a.m. I want to see like real dates and a little calendar and that sort of thing. Uh, I don't want to guess and use this like fuzzy fuzzy math here. I want to see, personally, I want to see that there's a little calendar where I can pick a date and a time. So I guess if I want to say Saturday 4 p.m. What's that? The next Saturday that's coming, I suppose, or I could be more specific and say next Saturday. And then if I click schedule, then in, uh, that should post uh, automatically on on next Saturday at four. You can see that you might forget what you've posted by clicking on your icon up here and notice I've got one post and one queued post. Something is going to be posted eventually. It says right there, that's going to be posted on July 4th, 4 p.m. So we've seen text, we've seen photo. We're not going to look at all of these. They're pretty straightforward to figure out, but uh, photo is a popular one to post, of course. Uh, Tumblr is very visual. Uh, let's say you want to post a link to your website. So what I'm going to do is um, select link. Type or paste a URL. So if I then get my address for my website, either the top level, victor.com, or a deep link like victor.com slash shop now, I can get any sort of address and put it here if I type it in it's then going to check the site and it might be able to extract information from the site let me see if I can give you a better example Okay, like this uh, this example, I posted this link, and then it, it captured a little bit of the text that is uh, that it found, and it wrote that for me. That's useful. 
This is as much as I could share if I want, because it's going to show that text and it's going to have a link back to the original site. I could continue to then add a description here. I could even add in a picture. We can mix and match this stuff. It's going to have a picture and that preview text there and the link back to my site. If you want to remove a picture, notice you can put your mouse over a picture and then the little X appears. If you want to remove anything, hover over and you should get an X. So whatever you post on Tumblr, think about adding up to five tags. Think about at least one tag. What is the keyword that will help people find your, uh, your content? In this case, I'm going to add it to the queue because um, I want for that to be loaded up in my queue for it to be posting automatically for me. Good question. Mm -hmm. I wrote a headline and I'm trying to change the, the typeface and I can't seem to get that little icon on the left. So did you already write it or you're about yeah, to write it? I, I wrote it and I put a picture and then I said, oh, I think I want to change this text here. So I have the title, I've got the title, now your text here is as big as the title. I can't seem to get it. Are you right clicking? No, you're, you're not going to be able to edit any options really for this top title text. It is what it is. But if you want to edit the text down here, you select that text, just click and drag to select and then you should get the editing tools. Yeah, whatever's in the title, you cannot edit that there. So you want to flip that around. Maybe. I can't get that second row. I must have done something to it. Okay. It doesn't say your text here. What about if you click anywhere there? Nothing. It's just... Oh, wait. I moved down. It showed up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so text, photo, we looked at link. Link is, I think, one of the most useful ones, maybe. Photo and link. Photo because it's very visual, Tumblr is very visual. But if you add a photo, you have to remember to, to link it somewhere. Uh, you don't want it to just be a dead end. I'll explain that more in, in just a moment. Link is useful because if you take a link from your website, you can then put some text, you can put a picture, and then it's got a link back to your website. Again, getting people back to your website where they can buy your product, subscribe to your newsletter, uh, contribute to your nonprofit organization, etc. You cannot sell anything on Tumblr. It doesn't have a shopping cart feature. You would do that on your website. The purpose of this, like other social media, would be to drive people back to your website. Quote is interesting, but you probably won't use it very much. It's just going to be, you know, you write some sort of quote, and then who's the source, and a hashtag, and you post it. So the, the usefulness about that, the usefulness about that is that you can you know, vary your, vary, vary your, um, your content. Uh, if you're always posting a kind of a picture, it's going to kind of become white noise to people. They're going to start ignoring it at a certain point. Or not ignoring it, but just tuning it out. So if you vary things up with maybe a video once in a while, a quote once in a while, that helps break the monotony and keep your followers interested. What really keeps people interested are animated GIFs. So animated GIFs, you can make them in a variety of ways. 
<laughs> but let me show you a website that you might find useful. Giphy.com, G-I-P-H-Y.com. Here you can search for pre-existing animated GIFs. G-I-P-H-Y. So you can search at the top. Let's see, cookies. So I found something here. And then notice share on Tumblr. Uh, so mo many sites nowadays are going to have the ability to share between networks. So here what I found is a particular animated animation that I like, an animated graphic, and then I want to share it on Tumblr. So I get a button down there to share to Tumblr right away. So if I click that, it pops up to compose my Tumblr post. So it shows there. It's going to go to my blog. There's the graphic. I can add another, it's going to say via Giphy, and a link back to the original. I can remove that if I want. Ready for the weekend. This already automatically has Giphy, cookie, cookies, baking, oven, Giphy trending. And I can remove whichever ones I don't want. I asked a question here. So this is kind of interesting. If you ask a question, basically put in a question mark into your post. Tumblr might give you the option, let people answer this. If I turn that on, then that's going to let people answer that, that question. Again, uh, not the strongest moderation system, but you can go in and, and edit the replies and such. Again, I'm going to add that to the queue. Because I've already posted something today, you don't want to get you don't want to use up all of your content in one day. You could if you're going to know if you know you're going to be posting a lot, but I'm going to recommend um, in the beginning to get followers, put in a few posts, but then after that you're going to start using the queue. So here's another one. I'll just post this one. I'll I'll do post now here because I want to get up to 5 posts before I, I start to try to get followers. So I'll click post. Now and over from Giphy to my Tumblr. Now this is this is a place where you um, where you can find the existing ones and then you can also upload a, an animated GIF. But there's another site um, I'm trying to remember its name at the moment. There's another site where it lets you create animated GIFs.
I oh, okay, this one's it. This is the other one. So there's Giphy and then there's makeagif.com. This one's cool. I've used it before. I just forgot its name, but with what with this one, what you can do is you can make animated GIFs based on videos. So if there's already a video that you might have or a video that you might find, you can use make a GIF, and then you can use this to hone in on the piece of the GIF that you want to animate, and then it creates the animation, and then you can share it on Tumblr. So I can upload a picture into a GIF, I can use a YouTube video, a different kind of video, my webcam, upload it. Yes. Can these work on WordPress on foot? That's a good question. Um, not exactly sure, because again, the the character of WordPress is a little bit more longer attention spans, long form content. So I don't see that many times animated gifs on Tumblr. I see the static ones. I see much more often animated gifs on. On, on Tumblr. So for example, if there's a YouTube video out there, I can choose I can choose um, make a GIF to uh, take one of these videos so I'm looking at both of the projects side by side find and a spot in the video uh, to animate uh, I'm on line 200 264 uh, I'm at uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm it. Uh, I'm it. Uh, I'm it. Uh, it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, so if there's a I'm video, I can select a spot. How long to uh, it? I'm online to it. If you, if you uh, want I'm these to be longer, to you it. have to register. Uh, I'm online to it. Um, uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online it, and to then, it. Uh, it'll give me a way to share uh, I'm back online on to it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online to it. Uh, I'm online. So animated graphics are nice, but they're not as straightforward as other kinds of graphics. You have to put a little bit of effort into them to simply create them, but if you, if you get good at it, you would be uh, sharing animated content that is useful perhaps to people. And this is a really hot trend at the moment. It's been going on for a few years now, and it might continue. The animated GIF is pretty, uh, pretty popular, but it takes the effort to create. And, and not to be annoying. I'm getting annoyed with my own GIF here. <laughs> I have an old computer that crashed all the time. I almost hate to open Tumblr. Because if I get too many, my legs yeah. just want it goes Exactly. So the funny thing is that the GIF format, because it's a, a GIF is the a kind of a graphic, GIF format invented in about 1987 and they invented animation in 1989 then later on in about 1992 or so they invented JPEGs 
well, the original GIFs were limited to only basic colors. It only had 256 colors. So therefore, a, a person's photo looked kind of weird. Not enough colors to show a person's photo. JPEGs came out in around 1992 or so, and then that was full color graphics. But then those were not animated. Uh, throughout the 90s and most of the 2000s, then the GIF started to go less and less, less popular. But then someone at some point a few years ago said, wait a minute, we can make cute little animations with GIFs. So then they started to get popular again. So this, you know, 30-year-old graphics technology that everyone thought was going to die because now we've got JPEGs and <coughs> pings, ping graphics is back again because they're animated. People want something new and people like what's old and what's old is new again. So animated graphics are very popular on Tumblr and if you tap into that it might be useful because I publish this and if, if I had followers, after the break we'll talk about getting followers, if I had followers that'll probably interest some of my followers and they might click the favorite, they might click the retweet, even better they might click the follow. The point is I want to post some stuff first to entice people to follow me. So uh, let's take, I'm going to give you five minutes, this is not the break yet, I'm going to give you five minutes for you to post a few things and then we'll take a break between 8.05 and 8.15 and we'll, and we'll go on to then get followers. You should have some content first before we try to get followers. So take a moment to add some content and then we'll take a break. And if anyone needs any help, call me over.